FIFA Confederations Cup from South Africa. Scott Russell along with Jason DeVos and Nigel Reed. It's funny though how football's road has many twists and turns. This time, the United States stages one of the greatest upsets in modern football history. Nigel, hard to believe. When I was a young boy, my dad told me about a game in 1950 at the World Cup when the US beat England. They had no right to do it. People said they had no right to be on the same field. That's nearly 60 years ago. I think we might still be talking about this result in another 60 years. The final was 2-0 for the United States. They built on that 1-0 first half lead. And Jason, uh, you could feel the Spanish coming, but the Armada could not get through to make a strike. No, they couldn't. And it was funny, watching that second half unfold, I feared for the United States because they sat back and they defended and defended and soaked up pressure. But then they got that second goal, and that was what they needed to break the Spanish hearts. Have to say this was an electrifying match right from the get-go and uh, we've got lots of highlights to show you let's take a look how about Charlie Davis with a circus kick well a good ball in from Clint Dempsey into a dangerous area Charlie Davis left with time and space he couldn't find the target but this was a sign of things to come from the United States Clint Dempsey, who was a hero against Egypt, had a close call. It was a bright start. Two shots in the first ten minutes. Here's Dempsey, only a yard or so wide of Casillas' goal. The writing perhaps on the wall. Josie Altador, only 19 years of age, but he's a big man. Good strength, good composure as well from Altador on the edge of the box. Good build-up play from the United States. And Altador just rolls Captavia, wrong foots Casillas in goal. He gets a hand to it, not enough to keep it out of the back of the net. There's a yellow card for that celebration. Altador does not care. 1-0 for the United States. Spain got close, couldn't hit the net. David Villa had scored in every game up to this game. You thought he was going to find the net, but just shot over there. Well closed down by the white shirts of the USA. On to the second half, and this time Tim Howard, the netminder, came up big. Howard was sensational today, stopping Spain time and time again, this time pushing the ball around the post there from David Villa. Couldn't find a way past Howard in goal. Villa had scored in every game previously, couldn't find the target. He got close, he got very close, but Howard was always in the right place at the right time. Big punch save coming up here for Tim Howard. Fabregas fakes to pull the trigger, finds Ramos, and Howard just pushes that one onto the post. Good strike from the fullback from Spain. Howard gets a good solid hand behind it. Talk about great defending. How about Ricardo Clark? Here's a testament to what the Americans did all night. Look at the commitment here from Clark. Just throws himself in front of the bus to save out his uh, teammates. Commitment leads to the reward, and it came in the 74th minute. Clint Dempsey again. Well, it was the goal that the United States needed. Landon Donovan just tried to find Dempsey on the edge there. It looked like Spain had dealt with it and cleared the danger, but it's Ramos. His touch allows Dempsey to come back in and swipe at it. 2-0 to the United States, and that's what they needed to hang on for the rest of the game. One black spot on the victory, and it comes in the form of a red card. Three minutes to go, the U.S. are home and hose, but then the red card for Michael Bradley, questionable yellow, clearly not a red, but not in the opinion of the referee. Bradley, the son of the coach, will now miss the final. And that is bad news for the United States as they hope to claim the Confederations Cup victory. A 2-0 the final over the United States, uh, for the United States over Spain. Let's hear what Bob